I mean, it definitely gave them momentum, uh, especially going towards the end of the second half. They went on a little bit of a run and were getting easy shots and uh, just all types of easy looks. And I mean, it was, uh, yeah. Um, they kept three three guys up, occupying three of our guys, and then they had one guy at the half court the whole time occupying the fourth, and then they kind of threw it ahead, and then that's leaving me with the big behind me, and that one person open on the side to kind of dictate play in the middle. Either if I play up, they're throwing, they're throwing the lob over top, or if I play back, it's a wide open layup. So we just got to get back to practice and fix the rotations. Uh, I, I'd, I'd say it was a combination of both. Um, we made a few uh, mistakes, and they just capitalized on it. Um, it, feel, it felt like they didn't really make too many mistakes out, uh, outside of the first few minutes where they were throwing passes all over the place. But after that, they regrouped and they, it seemed like they were making all the right passes. And we just kind of compounded that with a few small mistakes. Did you really feel size? Oh uh, yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, he had a good stretch in the game where he kind of really helped us defensively with that block, uh, rebounding, and then that that alley oop dunk set <laughs> the Mullins on fire. A couple times that kind of you guys make that big play, tie the game, take the lead. But it seemed like South Carolina always kind of came back and uh, was able to, to answer that. How how do you guys sort of react to that when you guys make that big play, but you can't necessarily get that stop to uh, to kind of seal it? Um. Honestly, it's just about staying positive. I think there were a couple moments where we got into timeouts and kind of went in each other's throats a little bit instead of um, staying together. So we just got to remain positive and be willing to hit back. Carl, nine, nine rebounds for you tonight. Was that sort of a point of emphasis from, from Coach in terms of you guys as guards really kind of crashing the class a, a little bit more? Uh, for sure. I think our bigs uh, do a great job of battling down there. Um, and their job isn't easy. They're battling with pretty strong guys and guys who really like to get uh, physical on both side, uh, defensive and offensive glass. And I think we as guards need to really help them out, um, cleaning up whatever the long misses are, or if they box out, just coming in and cleaning up whatever might uh, be up there and just cleaning that up. What, what was different for you guys in this last two minutes that the shots started to fall and all of a sudden you kind of got it you know, a little bit loud and you guys were making that comeback. What, what were you guys doing differently to Kind of spark that early. Uh, I think our sense of urgency was higher. Um, I mean, hate to say too little, too late, but I mean, I guess that, that's really what happened. Um, we just really wanted to win, and I think that sense of urgency we have to kind of have that for 40 full minutes.